want inspiration. Just call your children, wherever they are. Bring them in front of you. Stand them in front of you and have a long, hard look into their faces, into their eyes, and ask yourself, what type of tomorrow am I going to leave these children? And that should be enough motivation for you to get out there and do something for this great nation. No matter how things, no matter how difficult things look, let's, let's understand that we have a beautiful country. It's one of the most blessed nations in the world. It has vast resources. There is so much potential. We have amazing cultures, great people, and a bright future ahead of us. I would like to thank the government of Prime Minister James Marape, who has inspired us in, in the way he has started to support the effort to take back PNG. He has supported parliamentary committees, something which was lacking since 2011. As an example, I'll give you, I was a deputy chairman of the Public Accounts Committee in 2012, and I listed a certain company to be brought before the Public Accounts Committee to be, to be you know, inquired into for their role in what I felt was threatening the health and well-being of our nation. And uh, for my efforts, I was removed from the Public Accounts Committee and eventually I was kicked out of the government into the opposition. And that's when I learned that that government, the government of Peter O'Neill, was uh, not very interested in fighting corruption. In fact, they seem to be very much protecting it. So, well, fast forward to today and we have a new government and the Prime Minister today, uh, Honorable James Marper, has supported the efforts to, one, have a free uh, media where they are unrestrained, they're no longer controlled, they're no longer intimidated, they're no longer just fed propaganda to spit out, but they're actually allowed to report in a fair, free manner, you know, as all media entities in democratic nations should be allowed to. Uh, he, has in, he has put a lot of support into parliamentary committees, which is where the bread and butter work of parliament gets done. Uh, especially the Public Accounts Committee, and he has allowed us to revive the Special Parliamentary Committee on the Public Sector Review so that we could review the public service machinery and build, design, construct a better public service machinery that can deliver to the expectations of our people and give our people what they deserve, give this country what it deserves. I would like to thank those of you who are out there doing your bit in taking back PNG, in fighting for a better Papua New Guinea, in fighting for a better tomorrow for our children. It isn't easy, it's very challenging, but remember we're a young nation and a lot of the mistakes and a lot of the issues and challenges that we are facing, a lot of the mistakes we make, a lot of the issues we have and a lot of the challenges that we are faced with are uh, basically the growing pains of a nation. You know, that does not excuse us from addressing corruption. That does not excuse us from taking the fight against what is not right, you know, and those who are criminal and criminally motivated. You know, we should always strive to do that and we should always do the best we can to promote our nation as much as we can protect and promote PNG in everything we do, in our decision making at all levels. If you see something that's not right, if you see something that's corrupt, you have to do more than just call it out for what it is. You have to do more than just point your finger. You have to do something about it. And if you ask yourself, well, why me? Why should I do something about it? That's your job. Well, let me ask you, do you have children? Do you have children? Do you have a family? Do you have thoughts about their future? And if you do, the answer to this is yes, then yes, you do have a role to play. And yes, you have to do something. If you want inspiration, just call your children, wherever they are. Bring them in front of you. Stand them in front of you and have a long, hard look into their faces, into their eyes, and ask yourself, what type of tomorrow am I going to leave these children? And that should be enough motivation for you to get out there and do something for this great nation. And this is a great nation. It's an amazing nation. It's blessed with so many rich resources and so many vast opportunities that we have to fight for. We have to fight to protect. Our people are lovely people, beautiful people, but they're innocent and they're unaware of what's out there in the world. They're unaware of the dangers that are posed by very powerful economic forces, political forces that come in here and that wish to take, that don't care about them or their future. It's up to us. Those of us who are in positions of power or elected positions or who are in positions of responsibility have to come together and fight to protect this country, this great nation, to fight for a better tomorrow for our children.